So, uh, what is going on guys? It is Chill Life coming to you guys with a brand new video for today. Today, I am going to just talk to you guys because this is honestly... This video is long overdue. Well, not really long overdue. It's a few days overdue. This is a video talking to you guys about what happened in 2020 and what we can expect from 2021 or what I hope happens in 2021. I know 2020 wasn't the best year for almost all of us like i'm pretty sure i can attest to all of us or not all of us but most of us when i said that 2020 has probably been the most challenging year for us and not just you know us personally but you know the world you know and like you know covid and shit happening and that's why i want to talk about this because i really hope that because i really think that it's really important to not just me but to everyone to have someone to talk to about this thing so with that being said i do look forward to the year that we have ahead it's not wrong to look back at the year 2020 uh look back at the things that we learned you know i know it hasn't been the best year but we did learn a lot at least i did so yeah man um let's start from the beginning 2020 didn't even start good for me i know quarantine covid and shit like that hasn't ha uh, didn't happen till like what march or whatever in jersey in new york so it didn't really affect me until like three months down the line uh down the year i didn't start the new year's off great uh back in 2020 you guys know uh january 26th one of the worst days i've ever had um kobe kobe bryant died um i know y'all are gonna say well you don't know the guy personally but he's been a major part of my life since i was six i look up to this guy uh he's like my in number one inspiration in life um you know, it really took a toll on me. And it's, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you're acting like you know the guy in real life. But that's not the point. Number One of my number one dreams was to meet Kobe. I have a championship hat over there. I'm not going to get it. But I have a championship hat for the Lakers that I've never worn. Even though I had it for like almost a decade. Why? Because I want Kobe to sign it if ever I had my dream come true that I would meet him in real life. But... That's never gonna be a thing anymore. Kobe's death really affected me, and obviously a lot of people know um, that I was hurt from him passing away, but um, no one really knew the extent of how I was affected, that my, uh, except for my girl. She knew how much it affected me, and you know, um, it didn't start. 2020 already wasn't the best year for me, even even just from the start of the year. There's not a day that goes by without me thinking about Kobe, Gianna, and you know, the accident itself. But like, I made a promise to myself that as, as long as I live, I'm doing my best to live through his examples. So I know like, even though that uh, tragedy is something negative, I'm doing my best to look at the silver lining and just um, get inspired by Kobe still. So with that being said, um, after Kobe died, you know, quarantine hit, you know, Life has changed for a lot of people, and I mean a lot, like all over the world, not just, you know, not just in Jersey, not just in New York, not just in Cali, not just in America, not just in the Philippines, but any anywhere in the world. Some places got affected more than others, but at the same time, the world stopped, and it's still on halt, I feel like. And the fact that this thing, that this coronavirus thing happened, made us wake up because um back then before this happened we took life for granted like we live life every single day to the point where we took for granted how easy that can be taken away from us considering the fact that we live the same life every single day I, I feel like that became a reason why we took life for granted and um coronavirus took that away from us you know like not even i'm not even talking about death all right but i'm talking about how easy life as we know it can easily be taken away from us you know what i'm saying like the life that we live right now doesn't feel like we're li actually living an actual life you know we're, we stay at home before we go out we have to be really cautious we have to wear masks we have to be six feet apart at least from people it feels like the life that we know it has been taken away from us and i feel like this is a great realization for a lot of people that life is short and it doesn't even just mean death it just means that something like this how fragile life can be a lot of things can take away life as we know it you don't have to be dead to feel like you're not living and i feel like a lot of people feel like they're not living right now because of how their situations are sprout was talking to me on twitter dms like a few months ago saying oh or not a few months ago, a few weeks ago, saying, oh, oh, I hope things get better, like, quarantine was is really messing people up, and I was like, 
yeah but at the same time i am in no position to talk whatsoever i am in no position to complain because i know that there's a lot of people out there that is going through way worse shit than me and they're going through that shit and who am i who am i to talk who am i to complain about quarantine there's a lot of people dying there because of coronavirus there's a lot of people losing jobs losing homes they don't even know where they're gonna get their food um i'm here you know blessed that's why i'm still thankful about my life that i'm living right now although i lost my job you know i'm focusing on school right now but you know like overall like i'm still blessed and i'm still thankful that i am you know I get to eat, I have a place to live in, and you know, I'm not really struggling when it comes to, you know, financially. That that makes me think that, oh, I am in no position to complain because I, a lot of people have it worse than me. And you know, if they can go through that, who am I to bitch? You know, like, I am in no position to complain. That's why, I, that's the mentality that I keep like, you know, I keep instilling to myself. That's why when I see a lot of people bitch about, oh, I can't go out, I miss going out, you know, blah, 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 life is so hard because I'm staying in my room. Like, at least you have a room to stay in. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't even have houses to stay in. A lot, uh, there are a lot of my friends, my friends who lost their apartments because they lost their job. My, all I'm saying is, despite how hard 2020 is, we did learn a lot of lessons. And I feel like 2020 made a lot of people stronger it made us better people you know what i'm saying it just depends on how you look at things i love to i like to look at things in a positive mindset i always do my best to look at the silver lining on stuff because i know that um i know that when something negative happens on um, there's something that's positive that's gonna come out of it even how small it is i want to look at that positive thing you know what i'm saying because dude looking at something negative does not help you at all it's not gonna help you i feel like um when we have our good year we're gonna look back at 2020 and be like oh if that didn't happen we wouldn't be where we are today because we're not gonna learn the lessons that we learned in 2020 which is gonna be the number one tool to reach our you know to reach our goals in life it's not just 2020 just in failing in general you're not really failing something if you're not giving up you know what i'm saying like if you give up on something then yeah you fail but if you don't give up on something i feel like that's more of a setback and i feel like 2020 is more of a setback than it is like a failure of a year so with that being said i feel like this is for a reason i feel like this has a purpose in our life with that being said 2021 I've seen a lot of tweets, or not just tweets, but posts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, saying that, oh, 2020 is finally over, shit, this hell year is finally over. Like, people expect 2021 to be way better than 2020 without fixing the problems that 2020 has. Like, no, that's not gonna be a thing. I'm just gonna keep it a stack. If you expect 2021 to magically be better without fixing the problems that we had in 2020, you're just gonna be disappointed in 2021 and you're just gonna call 2021 a failure again. D just because it's a new year doesn't mean it's a full reset. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be pessimistic. No, nah, that's not the case. I'm just saying we have to fix what 2020 brought to you know to make 2021 better the coronavirus covid19 started in 2019 but it carried on to 2020 which meant which became 2020's you know like biggest conundrum we have to fix what 2020 brought to make 2021 better although i am expecting 2021 to be better of course i'm always expecting shit to be better but at the same time we have to realize that it's not gonna be better without action so with that being said, make the best out of your 2021. I know I could have done a lot more in 2020. I know that. I know YouTube-wise, I could have done a lot more. Although I did gain way more viewers, way more traction, way more subs than I did the year prior, which is shown right here. I could have done way more. That's why I'm saying 2021, I'm going to do my best to be the better, a better version of myself. Every day, I want to be a better version of myself. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, this year, this year, I'm not going to promise anything but one thing. I'm going to do my best to be a better version of myself, whether that's in life, that's in YouTube. And I'm going to do my best not to waste time on things that I don't really care about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to live my life for, for me. I'm done making decisions just to make people happy. Like, whether it be family, friends, I'm done. I'm gonna make decisions that will make me happy because at the end of the day, it's my life. And I feel like you guys should do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, 2021, I'm looking forward to the year. 
you know like i hope no matter what 2021 brings it's going to help us become better as people as a community as human beings and let's just stay kind to each other you know what i'm saying that's another thing that 2020 showed me is dude just be nice to each other we're here in this world together as a group like tr treat each other like your family treat each other with respect because at the same time at the end of the day you know being kind is free man being kind is free being considerate is free being empathetic is free you know just be nice to each other be nice to one another you know what i'm saying spread love that's all i'm gonna do 2021 do your best to spread love and you know inspire other people through simple shit you know what i'm saying just do your best to be a better version of yourself and that's gonna inspire people more than you realize you know what i'm saying so yeah man um 2021 i wish nothing but the best to you guys again i appreciate everyone who stuck with me through 2020 shit's been rough but at the same time the fact that you guys are here thank you thank you guys so much for that i cannot wait for 2021 i'm gonna do my best to not disappoint like you know myself you know i'm i'm gonna do my best to be the best version of myself and i hope you guys stay here for the ride i am going to i'm going to try and not be anxious about everything because i do have i'm not gonna say i have anxiety but i do get anxious about a lot of shit for no reason at the end of the day everything works out as long as you do your best so at the same time, I'm going to do my best not to be anxious on a lot of things. I'm going to do my best not to overthink stuff. And I'm going to do my best just to do shit without overthinking. Because overthinking takes time away from actually doing shit that you need. You guys should do the same thing, you know? Like, stop overthinking things because at the end of the day, you're your worst enemy. You're your worst critic. And you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the, the worst demons that we're battling with in life is ourselves. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, I really wish nothing but the best for 2021. And let's face it all together. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. You know, if you guys want to converse, Discord links in the description down below. We can talk. Twitter link in the description down below. DM me, I'm going to reply. Because we're all in this together, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for the year 2020. N hasn't been the best, but I love you guys for staying here, for real. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome. Peace out. Have a blessed day, everyone. And have a blessed year. Thank you guys. For real. I've been saying that. And yeah, man. God bless everyone.